Hey everybody, happy Saturday morning. It's Elizabeth, marriage and family therapist and mental health counselor getting straight to the point on mental health and relationship issues. So I thought today um, would be, boundaries could be a really fun topic to talk about um, because if you're not a therapy geek like myself and you don't read a lot of books on relationships, you probably won't really understand what boundaries are. So you might know them, but you don't know the name for what they mean. So basically, if you look at the map of the United States, you see a huge piece of territory, which represents the US, and then you see all of the states inside this piece of territory. But how would you know that Florida was Florida or Pennsylvania was Pennsylvania if there weren't boundaries around each territory, right? So when you look at the map, any map, you'll see basically a bunch of boundaries showing you where everything begins and ends. So we understand that Florida goes so far and then once you cross the state line, you're into Georgia and so on and so forth. Well, boundaries are critical in relationships for very much the same reason. And it may sound strange to compare a relationship to a map of a territory, but it's actually quite similar. So in your relationships, think about, you know, we all live with other people, most of us. And even if we live alone, we still have other people in our lives. So therefore, wherever there's a close relationship, there needs to be boundaries, okay? But in specifically, the closer the relationship, the more boundaries get very blurred and the more that we need to define what they are. So if you're in a close relationship and you're living in a home with your children, your spouse, maybe an in-law, something like that, there's bound to be arguments because somebody unknowingly is overstepping their territory, crossing a boundary. And there's all different ways that our boundaries can be crossed. They can be crossed, our personal boundaries can be crossed by you know, somebody that we don't know that well. So for example, if, if I was walking down the street and somebody tried to rip off my sweater, that's a very clear boundary crossing, right? That my personal space is, it's not for people to come up and grab me or pull on my things. We all understand that that is very much a boundary that should never be crossed. That's a personal boundary. But in terms of relationships, they're not always so obvious. So probably 95% of the family issues and the couple's issues and relationship issues I see in the office are because boundaries and relationships have not been defined and everybody's jumping over each other and crossing boundaries, and when you don't have good boundaries, life becomes extremely chaotic. So one of the things that I do with all of my clients is work on boundaries and what's comfortable for them and not comfortable for them in their relationships. And this is really a critical piece of being able to have a healthy relationship because if you don't have boundaries, just think if we had no territories within the context of the United States, there were no boundaries for any states, it would be so chaotic and there would be confusion and how would we be able to regulate everybody? I mean, it would just be impossible because it's just too large of a territory. And relationships are really infinite. Um, you know, it, you could never put a limit on what's possible in a relationship. So it has to be boundaried. I wanna give a good example um, before I, you know, wind up this video and we'll do some more. But somebody asked a good question the other day on my Facebook Live show. Um, should we go into our children's uh, cell phones and monitor their social media? Um, or is that considered a violation of privacy? And this is a very interesting question because if you wanna have healthy boundaries in your relationships, then everybody in the relationship must be considered you know, a full human being with their own mind, their own thoughts, their own likes and dislikes and understanding how they wanna be treated and how they don't wanna be treated. So, but then the parent ultimately is responsible for the child. So at that point, it becomes very confusing because 
you want to make sure you're on top of what your children are doing, but you don't want to overstep the boundary and invade their privacy. So these are the type of questions that bring up the issue of boundaries. Um, another one might be, you know, um, my husband, he is, you know, always, you know, getting on me about, you know, how I dress and he thinks I'm, I dress sloppy or something. And, you know, this is another good question. You know, there's a boundary there. If the wife wants to be sloppy, she's a, an adult with her own choices. And if that's the way she wants to look, then her personal space and boundaries would say that she can do that. Is the husband crossing boundaries because he's trying to tell his wife how to dress? Think about it. So there's so many interesting ways that boundaries come up and play a role in our relationships. And I wanna to talk to you guys so much more about this, but this is boundaries, intro to boundaries, uh, video one. We'll talk more about it this upcoming week. Happy Saturday, everybody.